NASA officials say they have until the end of the month to decide how to bring two American astronauts stuck on the International Space Station back to Earth. Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore were only supposed to be on the ISS for eight days. But their return has been delayed due to malfunctions on the Boeing Starliner that brought them there. NASA is debating whether the spacecraft is safe enough to bring them back or if they should wait until 2025 to come back on a ship from Boeing rival SpaceX. Keith Gowing is editor of the website nasawatch.com. Keith, these astronauts were meant to go to space for eight days but could be stuck there for eight months. Are they prepared for that? Yeah, they are. And I have to preface this with saying I, I do know a lot of astronauts. I actually know Sonny Williams very well. And it's pretty much easy to say that um, if you tell an astronaut that they have to spend more time in outer space, they really don't get upset about that. They do have families at home and things that they were planning to do, but it's not an unpleasant thing to get more time in outer space. That said, this isn't the plan, and that's causing a lot of things to get oh, changed around, a lot of embarrassment and a lot of confusion. So what went wrong? Well, this, is the, this spacecraft is one of two companies that were given the, the task of coming up with a commercial way to send astronauts to the space station so that if one didn't work, the other would be there to back it up. Well, the SpaceX uh, company uh, has done marvelously, uh, you know, done everything they're supposed to do. Boeing, however, has had a problem. First time the spacecraft was launched, it barely made it back to Earth uh, without a crew on board. The second time it did a little better. And then this time, just as it got to the space station, some rather important stuff didn't work. So instead of a short visit, it's going to be a prolonged wait. <sighs> So uh, take us through the rescue scenarios. Well, there's, it's not only a rescue. If they had to come home, to, like something horrible happened and they had to come home tonight, they would get in that spacecraft and come home. It's a, an, an issue of where the risk is. If you don't have to come home right away, then let's take a look at what's wrong. Now, I'll use a simple prop here. What happened is this is the part that comes back with the crew. Uh -huh. This is the part where all the rocket engines are that didn't work. They want to make sure they understand what happened here before they come home, because when they come home, this part burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. So you can't look at it once it comes back. So they've been testing it and playing with it ever since, and they're getting closer to having a you know, final decision. Is it safe to use it or not? If it is, they come home. If not, well, now they have to start rearranging space flight schedules. And let's look at the company problems behind this. After its problems in aviation, this latest hiccup in space must be embarrassing for Boeing. It's not good news, that's for sure, um, especially since they got a, more than a billion on top of what SpaceX got. They're years late. And the spacecraft, they were bragging, you know, we, you know, like we built these before. It's just not working right. So if I'm in charge of uh, public relations at Boeing, I'm not having a really happy week. Uh, and there's really no solution out of this other than to get it back and you know, and then the real question is, we, do they ever want to fly it again? I'm not sure that's a foregone conclusion that they will. And when do you think they will get them back? Well, they had a press thing today, and the first thing they said was there's no news. Uh, tune in next week. So, <laughs> uh, so they're getting to the point they've got to make a decision because if they're going to come back in this spacecraft, then they need to do it. If they're going to use a SpaceX spacecraft, they have to have two empty seats, two spacesuits, and that pushes all the planning for the additional flights back. And it's not a simple thing to, you know, it's up in space and you've got a lot of moving parts that have to be coordinated. So they have to decide pretty soon what they're going to do. And uh -huh. uh, a lot of people are getting impatient with a lack of an answer. Uh -huh. And uh, th that is includes people inside NASA. And I bet the uh, PR motors are in motion at this hour. Keith Cowing, editor of the yes. website nasawatch.com. Thank you very much for chiming in. My pleasure.